Bande Guru Pada Dandam Bhakta Binda Samanita Sri Chaitana Prabhu Bande Nita Nanda Sahodita Sri Nanda 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 Bande Radhika Charana Dayam Gopijana Samayutam Binda Bansha Kalpataru was to keep us in the village. But it on a pavone bavishna give you no more. Nama Mukankaroti vacha lang pangung lang hat again. Yet keep atom hung upon the parma and on the madam. Bring now it to see the boy be away. Case was such a snobbati body devi Narayana Noskita Naram Jaiva Narutthama Devim Saraswati Vyasam Tato Jayo Mudive Shankirtane Kishno Kathopadesh Gauriya Patrasya Prakasa Necha Sadhanurakta Guru Bhakti Yukta Bhakti Pramodaksha Jagod Bharana Deyam sada paribhavagnam avishtadoham Tethas padam siva veranchanutam saranyam Betatiham ponodopal bhavati bhutam Bande mahapurushati charuna ravindam Yat pada pallavana kachandamani chataya Bispuriji takimapiga bodhushu Purnana Ragra Sasagra Sara Murti Sara Adhikami Kada Kimam Karosh Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Ananda Sri Adhita Gada Dara Siva Sadihi Gaura Bhakta Binda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunita Ananda Sri Adhita Gada Dara Siva Sadihi Gaura Bhakta Binda Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adhita Gala Dharasiva Sadihi Gaura Bhakta Binda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Ajahnulam vita bhujo kanuka bhudatu Shankirtanai kapitaru kamala yutaksha Visham varu dijavaru jugadhar mupalo Bande jagat priya karu karuna bhutaro Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. Nama Migange Tabapad Pankajam Sura Surair Vendito Diparupam Bhukti cha mukti cha dada sinitam Bhavan rupe na sada naranam Ganga taranga ramani ajata kalapam Gauri nirantara vibushi tobam bhagam Nara yuno Bharanasi Purapati Bhajavi Shanat Vagi Shajusho Badani Lakshmi Jasacha Vakshashi Jasya Astehide Sambi Tam Nishinga Maham Bhaji Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare <coughs> Sri 
सर्वोपाधि विनिर्मुक्त तत्पर तेन निर्मल ऋषिकेन ऋषिकेश सीवन भक्तिरुच्यते सर्वोपाधि विनिर्मुक्त तत्पर तेन निर्मल ऋषिकेन ऋषिकेश सेवन भक्तिरुच्यते गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्री श्री भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु जी ने बताए अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट फायदा पार्ट ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव कृपा नो बडी कैन एक्चुअली ग्लोरीफाई हरी नाम वी शुड हैव परमेश्वर विशेष कृपा सो बाय दैट ओनली वी कैन जस्ट गेट आउट ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड विदाउट दैट देयर इज नो अदर वे टू गेट आउट जीव इज नॉट एट ऑल अ चर्वस इज नॉट मटीरियल जीव इज नॉट मटीरियल जीव इज चिन्ह माई ट्रांसलेंटल जीव इज ट्रांसलेंटल इट इज मोर एट अ बिगर प्लेटफॉर्म देन मटीरियल थिंग इट इज देयर इन गीता बट स्टिल ही इज वीक ही डोंट हैव एन चित बल ही इज वीक एंड ही इज एक्चुअली Paradin means he is just uh, he is the uh, he is under he is a servant of Bhagwan. Maybe some uh, liberty is given to Jivatma. Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking that Jivatma has been given some independence, some liberty, but still it is limited. Ultimately, it is controlled by Bhagwan. by our own will jeev has just can have infinity wishes but without krishna krishna will nothing can be done because without the will of krishna nothing can be done jeev is weak but still jeev has the liberty but he has the free will bhakti mo thakur speaking jeev actually has the free will definitely they have the liberty but still this free will and liberty it is not at all uh, it is actually all controlled by that independent supreme lord so this kind of free will it is up to, is up to certain extent is uh, limited he can go but still after that he can't go so this speak uh, jiva actually he is in this uh, kirtan actually bhakti mo thakur writing that for how long he will be just uh, getting uh, in this trap of my and you will just be losing your life bhagwan shri krishna if we are just getting on to lotus feet of shri krishna if we will become uh, the servant of shri krishna then there is no problem at all if uh, if we will become uh, the servant of shri krishna that i am yours and there is no no problem at all like uh, there is one example that there is one uh, rich man there is one rich man he was just going through one uh, village and he was just going in a car and uh, suddenly and suddenly one he just saw one uh, small girl and after seeing that small girl he said that it to the driver just stop the car and he just stopped the car and he actually just speaking to the some person of the village that whose girl is this actually this girl is uh, is uh, girl of sanatan gosh where is his house he said that uh, he just went to the house there and after that he is uh, that father was sitting and uh, it was just evening time and uh, that uh, fa- father of that uh, girl actually i just want to speak one thing to you that you are actually very old and i am very rich man and why you have come then he said that uh, this girl actually yours i you just give it to me i will just give marriage to my boy what you are saying i am actually so poor i don't have anything and i don't know anything about don't she is actually illiterate oh i will give actually every education everything money for that girl 
बट एक्चुअली यू आर किडिंग विद मी नो 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 आई एम नॉट जोकिंग एक्चुअली हैज टेकन दैट गर्ल एंड हीज जस्ट गिवन मैरिज टू हिज बॉय बाय आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू स्पीक दिस पॉइंट दैट दिस गर्ल एक्चुअली शो पुअर फैमिली शी इज बिलोंगिंग टू शी इज फ्रॉम अ सो पुअर बैकग्राउंड शी इज नॉट गेटिंग इवन टू टाइम्स फूड ऑल्सो बट स्टिल then this rich man actually he just got marriage with that boy with that rich man then what happened that uh, greedy uh, that girl is now poor no she is rich because she is uh, getting everything from her husband from her husband everything she is getting uh, from her husband whatever he has she is getting now in the same manner in this material world who who so ever all the jeevatmas all the jeevatmas when they be become uh, the servant of krishna then there is no uh, stopping them that's why bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking that that uh, now we have time still we have time that we can just bring up bring up our consciousness which is already uh, gone so this chaitan uh, all this uh, material world this is all uh, is uh, temporary this whole material world is achinta this is uh, is temporary they have that consciousness no actually there is no consciousness bhakti mota ko speaking if actually chaitanya mahaprabhu we don't know chaitanya mahaprabhu that is param chaitan vastu we can't understand that from where we have came from in this material world if we are just cutting that mati- uh, thing this actually uh, we will if we we'll, uh, just forget bhagwan so bad it is we are just uh, forgetting bhagwan the bhagwan which is giving everything to us whatever we have everything is of bhagwan and i am also from bhagwan my atma is also from bhagwan only but when we will become servant of bhagwan then there will be no problem at all every every problem will get rectified but the the person don't want that they don't want to do bhakti the power of bhakti so much bhagwan bhakti is actually bhakti devi just uh, give us the uh, chance to join bhagwan it is written in shruti in matha shruti it is written there is one matha shruti it is written there the power of bhakti so much glorification of bhakti so much that you can't even understand that bhakti can definitely take us to that uh, definitely give darshan of shri krishna because this is the because bhakti has that power because bhagwan is already uh, there uh, uh, under bhakti who is that purush that purushottam that purushottam actually is uh, under the shelter of bhakti i am not talking about normal person normal purush definitely bhakti devi will give us the darshan of bhagwan and bhakti is just like a nectar it is just like nectar amrit rupacha asha amrit sarupa and in the shastra there are a lot of things uh, written whatever we just want to take uh, we just want to take that when we just achieve bhakti 
just by getting bhakti bhakti will definitely take us to bhagwan and we are just uh, that is the glorification of bhakti infinity glorification is there we just get to meet that uh, purushottam bhagwan purushottam bhagwan is just uh, giving kripa through bhakti and after that when we just uh, get that kripa that jeevatma becomes siddh by getting bhakti he 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 becomes like a nectar that jeevatma and uh, by which uh, by getting that thing there is no other thing uh, left uh, to get in this material life there is no uh, any other wish to get that when there is no dissatisfaction in our heart we don't want to uh, need anything else that is called bhakti and this bhakti this is it is coming in the form of navvida bhakti nine fold of bhakti i have already told you previously about this nine fold of bhakti about this nine fold of bhakti i have already told you and uh, in this nine, nine fold of bhakti that there are in this uh, out of that five fold of bhakti are top most all these five kind of five fold of bhakti are uh, if we are just getting the sang of uh, like for a fraction of second we will just get uh, uh, we will just get full kripa and in this uh, and in this uh, wish i have already told you previously that uh, so uh, all the ang of bhakti all the uh, fold of uh, 64 limbs of bhakti shravan kirtan we have already told that it is the uh, there is more glorification of shravan and kirtan why because shravan actually we know we have already heard about shravan it is coming in the navvida bhakti and if he is just getting uh, if somebody is actually doing bhakti on to the lotus feet of vishnu bun samansham means jeevatma that person if that person actually is uh, if he is just getting bhakti on to the lotus feet of uh, vishnu if someone is doing some that uh, nine fold of bhakti someone is doing if he is not doing nine fold of bhakti then okay no problem he can do one uh, one fold of bhakti mahaprabhu actually speaking to sanatan goswami mahaprabhu actually sanatan goswami pad is speaking to sanatan goswami that mahaprabhu actually speaking himself that uh, that nine fold of bhakti that we definitely have to do nine fold of bhakti or 64 uh, we have to do all together it is not at all possible this is according to the ruchi bhakti no thakur has told it uh, about this that according to the ruchi it can be done that uh, which whoso whosoever has more ruchi in his bhajan and according to that uh, prabhupada actually used to give uh, just used to give the seva according to the bhakta and uh, whosoever has more ruchi in which seva that he will get more bumper success in his life whereas the other bhakti ang other bhakti uh, fold fold of bhakti also we have to do uh, we we speak that only i will hear hari katha that is not at all good how it can be possible we, we kau seva also you have to do so this nine fold of bhakti what i have already told if we actually some jeevatma is uh, this uh, nine fold of bhakti uh, from if someone can do that under the guidance of guru vishnu then then we can definitely get bhakti onto the lotus feet of bhagwan krishna and and to do do bhakti onto the lotus feet of bhagwan krishna is topmost 
it is written there in the kirtan why you are you just uh, studying bhakti mein thakur writing why you are studying and reading just to get krishna bhakti and if it is not there that krishna bhakti is not there then what use of studying and reading we will just become dogs and cat bhakti mein thakur speaking bhakti mein thakur is speaking this thing that uh, ji- it will make jeev like a uh, chagal like a dump it will just make a jeev an ass okay no worries and these nine fold of bhakti actually is nine fold of bhakti actually this nine fold of bhakti there is one one acharya of each bhakti for each and every limb of bhakti has one one acharya like shravan in shravan parikshit maharaj is there and parikshit maharaj after that uh, he is actually giving uh, he is going to his mother and giving brahad bhagavat amrit delivering the brahad bhagavat amrit to her mother to uttara to uttara mother Parikshit Maharaj just uh, giving Brahad Bhavad what we are actually already discussing. So this हरिकथा श्रवन परीक्षित महाराज इज आचार्य एंड विष्णु श्रवन इज परीक्षित महाराज इज आचार्य एंड सुखदेव गोस्वामी इज आचार्य ऑफ कीर्तन प्रहलाद महाराज इज द स्मरण भक्ति आचार्य एंड जस्ट टू गेट द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण दैट लक्ष्मी देवी इज आचार्य एंड ऋतु महाराज इन पूजन अर्चन एंड अक्रूर इज इन अभिवंदन एंड हनुमान जी महाराज इन दास्य भाव एंड इन बाईसख्य बाईसख्य बाई मीन्स फ्रेंडशिप अर्जुन इज टॉप मोस्ट एंड एंड एवरी थिंग जस्ट गोइंग गिविंग टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्णा बली महाराज इज ऑलरेडी शोन दैट सो जस्ट टू गेट द कृष्ण दैट इज द एब्सोल्यूट वे they have already shown us all the acharyas so it means that nine fold of bhakti all these nine fold of bhakti we have to follow that but if we are not able to follow that then if we are just following only one fold of bhakti out of nine if we are following only one then if we are actually just following one fold of bhakti out of nine or maybe two we are following there is no problem at all if we have nishta inside our heart then there is no problem at all definitely then they will we will get prema if there is nishta mahaprabhu actually speaking if we have nishta definitely that prema will uh, that is the topmost thing we will get in our life and uh, just uh, speaking about this point that naam bhajan is the topmost naam bhajan is topmost the glorification of naam bhajan is topmost uh, like bhagwan also the name of bhagwan and bhagwan swayam is not different from each other i have already i will speak tomorrow that uh, bhagwan swayam and name of bhagwan there is then the glorification of name is more bhagwan ka naam ka mahima aur jata the glorification of name of one is more or all, uh, all this shlok there rup ko i have written this i will definitely show you but this now nine fold of the in this 
दैट ऑफ मोस्ट अंगेज द नाम संकीर्तन टू डू नाम संकीर्तन बट वी हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन दिस प्रूफ येस्टरडे दैट इफ वी विल नॉट डू श्रवण एंड आवर वी डोंट हैव चांस टू डू श्रवण वी कॉन्ट डू कीर्तन इफ वी इन आवर लाइफ अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ गुरु वर्क दैट शॉर्ट वाणी इफ वी आर जस्ट केयरफुली जस्ट लिसन टू दैट and with full guru seva we have listened that that nearly we have, have that art to do kirt guru vishnu can give us that so shravan if we are doing uh, kirtan it is already interrelated with each other shravan has some glorification and with shravan uh, no kirtan can be done how kirtan can come without shravan and if kirtan is going on and if shravan is there then if smaran is not there smriti is not there then everything is uh, useless so smriti means that i am speaking hari katha but my heart and my mind is actually is uh, some in some other place how it can be possible that i am speaking hari katha but my uh, heart is somewhere else how it can be possible it is all interrelated to each so this uh, moksha so in this sadhananga this shravanam kirtanam that's why in the nine fold of bhakti all these three things Uh, under uh, nine fold of bhakti maybe like 64 limb of bhakti also in the 64 limb of bhakti also the the, the priority is given to this only and mahaprabhu has also told this thing uh, then i will definitely speak about this point about the glorification of hari nam i will tell you under the guidance of bhakti vinod thakur so it is seen here that shravan kirtan and smaran they are all interrelated to each other if you, if you are doing one you can't do the second one it is like that and someone is speaking that maharaj i am i will do sankirtan only i will not do any other seva this is not at all possible in the society in order to just run your society and what so in this uh, condition if that person will come if he will come to the platform that paramanand avastha will go okay you can do but if you have just uh, not gone to that uh, condition of that paramanand and just by your uh, own will you are just stopping your own seva and just uh, showing that you are doing harina those who are just doing uh, not doing ram bhajan and they are just uh, eating food how it can be possible this is not at all possible or uh, they are stopping all seva no seva no not doing anything so that's why shila bhakti mo thakur has just told this point that you just by your hands uh, you just do your seva uh, with your hands and with your mouth you are all the time you should do naam sankirtan all the time you should do naam sankirtan on your tongue should be there you just be speaking naam sankirtan all the time on your tongue should be there you just do seva by your legs uh, with your legs you do parikrama with your hands whatever like sense organs you should do uh, seva with your sense organs and uh, on your tongue hari naam should be there all the time maybe today or tomorrow you will definitely find that shuddha naam will be coming on the tongue definitely bhakti no thakur speaking this today just by just by serving bhagwan and just by doing naam sankirtan of bhagwan definitely one day or the other you will definitely that shuddha naam will uh, get on to your tongue what do you mean by shuddha naam shuddha naam what do you mean by shuddha naam shuddha naam means that a prakrit shabd brahm means definitely bhagwan will self come in the form of shabd brahm that is original the glorification of the name of bhagwan is actually infinity all the guru vishnu var just speaking it will not get ended it is not at all possible to get ended so in this uh, situation condition if you are just getting then only you can do naam okay you can do naam bhajan i am not speaking that you should not do naam bhajan i am actually speaking that uh, uh, inside our heart what is our situation now at present in this situation we have to change that situation and we have to do hari naam 
and we always have to just uh, get pratishtit in that uh, uh, remembering that harina in that present situation we have to do that otherwise everything will be useless so jeev go swami pad jeev go swami pad in shrimad bhagavatam in kono in kram sandarbh jeev go swami pad telling shri shila jeev go swami pad actually in kram sandarbh in that tika he has written what he has told you just be careful be attentive about that yadapi means if uh, uh, if it is there uh, possible then we have to do the other uh, fold of bhakti as well but uh, this kind this thing actually is uh, just uh, getting unboxed in front of us so this actually it is written there just by your own fanciful mind you don't do anything just by taking the uh, shelter of the naam that is the top most thing that is naam bhajan is the top most but now it is not possible at in our in our bonded state in the bonded state the regularity of name we are act- i am actually becoming so surprised when in some uh, uh, brahmachari of some mart actually speaking that uh, anik should be done at regularly <laughs> i am actually just laughing at that that anik should be done regularly maharaj uh, actually you are foolish why you have done taken uh, diksha in godiamat why you have taken diksha in godiamat is so foolish number one maybe sometimes he is doing now and sometimes stop no, no time there actually actually this is not at all bhajan bhajan is not at all possible like this like mad so jeev go swami pad actually has just uh, told us that if you want to do some other seva uh, you have to just uh, follow the other limb of bhakti okay but still naam sankirtan is the top most means with kirtan akhya bhakti only it should be done any other limb of bhakti so all those sahajiya foolish people they are actually all frauders these actually speaking that maharaj you just have to uh, loudly you don't need to speak naam that is not good that is not at all good they are speaking all these sahajiyas actually they have this kind of vichar actually i am speaking actually haridas thakur ji used to do 3 lakh harinam and 1 lakh naam he used to do panchu jap means uh, he has to do with 1 lakh naam he used to do with the uh, loudly and the other 1 lakh name he used to uh, shout and uh, loudly used to speak just for the uh mangal of all the jagat and moan and another one is moan or uh, one lakh is just doing inside his heart so out of that the what he is doing uh, and crying out loudly that hari naam is the top most is that glorification is more what he was doing inside his heart this actually this point actually has been uh, i just want to uh, uh, just want to Uh, and uh, just want to discuss this and i'm coming forward actually previously i have discussed about the glorification of harinam and uh, what is the glorification of harinam and this harinam chintamani will uh, actually by the kripa of haridas thakur and by the kripa of korang mahaprabhu and bhakti no thakur has uh, written it in such a beautiful way that if you can understand that then definitely you will become surprised oh so nice actually this granth harinam chintamani it is written there in shastra that just by doing the jap of harinam just by thinking the glorification of harinam by doing dhyan of harinam just concentrating on harinam song can be there inside heart can you can you sing song inside your heart you are foolish they are actually speaking adi sahajya 
that Harinam should not be done loudly. They are just speaking in a reverse manner. But Haridas Thakur, in the life of Haridas Thakur, you can see that one life name is uh, doing normally and one lakh nam he is doing loudly and crying out loudly and when Mahaprabhu actually going to, through the forest he used to do Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Nam used to do Mahaprabhu actually but they are these people actually speaking that uh, no loudly you don't, can't speak Hare Nam so foolish they are speaking reverse manners in a reverse uh, they are taking us to reverse direction with Haridas Thakur uh, the Mahaprabhu, what he is speaking to Mahaprabhu, it is written in Chaitanya Chaita Amrit and Chaitanya Bhagavat also about this glorification of Nam Chintamani by Haridas Thakur to Mukarang Mahaprabhu. So now today, what Mahaprabhu has told, that all the power, uh, as all the power is given by uh, Bhagavan in his Nam. In this Kalikal, Nam Sankirtan, Bhagavan has just descended on this material world. It is already written in Chaitanya Chirtam, the Radhi Khan. Nistar means that he gets mukt from that. can understand this point. Mahaprabhu, this, that, this actually has uh, told us that by name, every a whole material world can get uh, out of and just get, become the servant of Krishna and get out of this business. And for, and for the confirmation, three times it is uh, told that and if the material person, wanted jiva, who is actually having very less intelligence, if they are not at all understanding, for them Mahaprabhu actually speaking this. Eva means affirmative. Ever by this ever is given the confirmation. Like this, if we just do, we uh, thinking like this that for bonded jivas to do harina, it is impossible, almost impossible. But still, harina is chinta money. We have to do harina. Definitely, we have to do harina more. We don't think that we will not hear the katha. Will not do harina. It is. In Harinam, everything is there. Leela, Parikabhashist, everything, I'll just give proof of everything. So, we said Leela. At Harinam, everything is there. How it is there? If a normal person cannot understand this point, that he is just taking that Mala Choli and he was just spoiling his uh, time. He is not at all doing Harinam. Do Hare Krishna. You come, he's just opening his mobile, he was just seeing this, that, everything on the mobile. So, he's not at all mang getting Mangal, he's just going into the pathway of a Mangal. All those Mathavasi, Gurudev has already written, Prabhupada has written a lot of articles on this. But who actually wants to hear all this? Nobody is there. Nobody is there to hear this. Uh, one time, Bhakti Vata, Bhakti Ayan Maharaj were wanting left his body. He has left his body in uh, Shri Chaitanya Gaudimat. He is in charge of his body. And Govind Maharaj has also left body. Everyone has just left us and uh, uh, gone to the uh, transcendental world. And uh, one day uh, they actually went to the Sridhar Goswami Maharaj. And uh, actually speaking, is Gurudev actually speaking, you have to do one lakh nam every day. How to do that? We don't have actually time, Maharaj. Whole day we are actually serving, doing seva, and we can't uh, able to find cope up to do one lakh nam. Maharaj actually speaking that don't speak like this. You have to do harina. If you will not do, then it will not happen. 
because harinam and seva are interrelated to each other they are compensative factors whatever actually we are doing harinam and seva this is be sure about this that they are uh, to do harinam and to do seva is they are all compensating factor to each other they are actually uh, interdependent on each other why we are doing nam just to get more seva and why we are doing seva just to do more harinam so that naam sankirtan we can uh, do shuddh naam we can do actual shuddh naam that which is bhagwan himself so why we are doing seva so that we can do more hari naam and why we are doing naam so that we can do more seva so in this devotional field so in this devotional field there is no point that oh, okay okay mara no i don't want to do much now this is not like that param Shila Madhav Goswami Maharaj actually I have already spoken five years back in Mayapur. Everyone was just started laughing. What? That Prabhupada ji, it is a standing order of Prabhupada that you have to do one lakh naam. Everyone has to do that. If how to do one lakh naam, whole day actually just going in seva. Actually all the devotees actually gather together. Means our guru work. that all they just gathered together and just went to madam goswami maharaj and just appealing to him that uh, i agree actually you just go to prabhupad and actually how to actually we can do har gal lag na because on all four direction seva is seva is there nowadays actually nobody wants to do normal seva tons of come in goshala and lot of persons have went away there is no reason actually i am not saying that but i don't want to uh, get angry with them but still they don't have any seva mood they don't want to do seva so who will do seva that uh, who do just cut the grass for go mata who who will do uh, lot of people have come and gone lot of people from brazil one person came he also went away he just come suddenly he has so prema for me eh i have actually naked baba no cloth is there no no chappal no nothing is there but so so much money i have 1000 or rupees given for his bed then went away everything is there to eat but nobody is there to do seva so who will do seva so sitar ko swami maharaj actually speaking include beta you see i am we are doing now so that we can get more and more seva and why we are doing seva so that we can do more and more hari naam shuddh naam but nowadays nobody is there in this uh, to do seva if you are actually just uh, speaking the uh, prabhupad uh, bani with full acharan i am giving you the full guarantee and if you are just speaking prabhupad bani with full acharan then uh, every from every month he will speak oh no no don't go there don't don't hear don't hear is hari kata so like this i am just appealing i am requesting you to on to lotus to every maharaj that lot of math mandir you have constructed now you please stop construction and now if you are a devotee then you make devotees if you are you are a devotee we don't want any math mandir now they will definitely get seva prat lot of seva prat will be there so prabhupad so hyadri brahmachari actually just went to prabhupad and uh, just by the appeal of all the guru work actually uh, just to speak to prabhupad on to lotus feet of prabhupad just request him that how to do one lakh harinam we are uh, busy whole day in seva we have tireless seva it's not like uh, in the morning we have done amaniya and the uh, whole day we are just there in sitting with mobile it's not like that this, this seva is not like that the whole day actually you know, oh, half an hour to hours actually just i need to uh, we just take some roti and after that we sitting with mobile this kind of seva actually we are doing we are i am just uh, with uh, giving some money some income to someone for two hours actually giving some money to some goshala in some uh, he actually just taking all the money thieving is just like a robber taking all the money that's it not doing any go seva so madhav was somewhere actually going to prabhupad and just requesting in front of prabhupad that prabhupad when we can uh, do our harinam unlack because we don't uh, have any time to do that seva all the time we are just doing seva other seva 
and Prabhupada actually speaking with the very uh, serious mood. He is speaking what you are doing in the night time. What you are doing in the night time? Oh, that you just need to do your complete your harina and then you can sleep. That is the actual instructions of Prabhupada. If we are not doing any doing naam whole day, I am doing katha katha all day, then definitely I have to do the naam in the night, otherwise don't sleep. This is the actual instruction of Guru work, what we got. And but no no one wants to take this siksha nowadays. No one actually wants to take that. No one wants to actually do seva. Prabhupada actually speaking that what you are doing, what you are doing in the night time. You have to do in the night time now. So Harina, there is a lot of glorification of Harina. And now we will actually speak that uh, just by doing Harina, that Paddhaji house, that bonded jiva will uh, slowly, steadily, he will go out of this material bondage and uh, this whole uh, uh, vishay this material world is temporary there is no no chetna just to get that consciousness that chetna their self interrogation will come after just get chetna consciousness definitely that quantity jiva will get self interrogation will be there before that it will not come at all if there is no chetna he will definitely be going into the vishay in this material things. How he can do that? So, because he will not be having that self-interrogation inside him. If he can just understand this, that this material world is temporary. And Bhagavan Krishna actually speaking to the that each and every object of this material world, <coughs> it is for the seva of Krishna. And for all these um, things, if we have some that enjoying mood, some in these material objects, then if he is Brahmachari Sanyasi also, what he has to do repeatedly, he will he will be just facing distress. Those who are actually that enjoying thing, you are actually that enjoying mood you want, you are actually busy in that. What is the actual result of that? Because Sadhu is Parinam Dakshi. That Sadhu is not Sadhu who is not at all Parinam Darshi. Whether he is a very big, uh, you are thinking, you are seeing that he is a very big Acharya. He has a lot of money and in whole material world he has just preached holy name. You are thinking, those who are actually haven't understand, not realized uh, about this, so what they can do? Just by speaking, Dukhana Doshnam will be done. Everything is for the service of Krishna and if he is just getting that enjoying mood towards that, what is the far-reaching consequence of that? What will be the far-reaching consequence? That's why Prabhupada used to speak that a, a genuine sadhu is actually Parinam Darshi. Whatever he is actually busy in some things today, like Harinam, Kirtan, Kuru Seva, I don't have any time to do that. But Maharaj, if uh, just think of this thing that in this material enjoyment you are just getting in deep enjoyment what is the actual far reaching consequence of this enjoyment i have already seen that practically i haven't seen anything okay harikatha is different but i have seen it those who have done uh, wrong things in this bhajan life in bhajan field those persons one 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 by one, I can just tell you the story. I am getting really surprised. You will become mad. Oof. What they have done, this is the condition now. You can't do anything. There is no other way. What you can do? No one is there who can just speak about this. No one, no, no, nobody is there who can just hear this. So, this uh, Harinam, in this Harinam, we say there are a uh, lot of things that Harinam is not different from Bhagwan. There are a lot of proofs regarding this. And just to get uh, consciousness, that self-interrogation will definitely come inside our heart. If there is a drop now, dropness of consciousness, then there will no be self-inquiry inside our heart. How it is possible? It can't be possible. If our consciousness is increasing, definitely self-interrogation will come. Bhagwan is actually Vibhu Chaitanya Vastu and Jeev is Anu Chaitanya and Param Chaitanya Vastu 
she is actually servant of that param chaitanya vastu jeevatma and jeevatma actually if every jeevatma has some uh, kind of liberty but still that final controlling is in the hand of bhagwan only final controlling is always there in hand of bhagwan why because because bhagwan who is bhagwan actually who is the fruit giver who will give the fruit of our result uh, for the activity that is in the hand of bhagwan but these foolish people they are not understanding that guru vishnu without the approval of bhagwan uh, whatever you will do in your life everything will go in the reverse direction in a negative way so this material world actually this material world actually it is all uh, aided by this is all controlled by maya this whole material world is just uh, trapped by maya just like a spider they all made by maya and in this material world jiva jiva jeeva, jeevas are here in this material world in this material world to so jeevas will be there it is one kind of punishment for them it is written in bhagavad this is actually the bhagavad bhagavad ji mahapuraj shloka it is written that dushma that oh thakur ji oh krishna just be careful about this point dushma means he is actually speaking to krishna that krishna all those devotees speaking krishna those who are actually this one those who are not anukut in the way of bhajan those who are not doing bhajan of bhagwan they are actually those who are actually against bhagwan those they are actually uh, they came in this material world they are actually coming in this material world and others will not come others will not come why others will come others will not come at all those who are against bhagwan those who are not doing bhajan of bhagwan they will have to come in this material world again and again samsaran ti samsaran samsaran ti means definitely they are coming back to this material world so do this is not our place to live so in this material world all these jeevas actually there the jeevas actually in this material world it is one kind of punishment for them in this material world it is just like a prison just like a jail for them i have already told previously previous day as well about this point chaye bojas that those were bhagwat no those who are uh, away from bhagwan they are definitely coming to this material world again and again that is a kind of punishment this is a prison cell those who are actually just questioning that uh, guru krishna var also come, coming in this material world this is also punishment for them so whatever they are setting they are getting some disease or some uh, bodily ailment something it is not at like that don't speak like that because guru vishnu are from that are not from this material world they are from the transcendental world so all these guru vishnu actually it is written there at pure guru vishnu when you are speaking it is written about pure guru vishnu pure devotees that that they are beyond the uh, limitations of this birth and death this cycle of birth and death that is not at all applicable for guru vishnu it is already applicable it is not at all applicable for vishnu but still it looks like that vaman goswami maharaj actually is uh, body is not good he is actually getting some disease it is just to make you foolish 
just to make you foolish that's it he'll just make you out bhakti no thakur as just uh, just making a leela of a paralytic patient in swanan sukhda kunj and uh, when i just uh, went to i just when i just coming to vrindavan then i outside the bhakti no thakur bhajan kutir on the second uh, floor there is one bhajan kutir of prabhupad and bhakti no thakur bhajan kutir outside that there is no one there actually i used to i used to go there by the trip of krishna i just used to sit there so bhakti no thakur suddenly is doing the leela of paralytic patient and after that that from midnapur that bali gai sammelan was there bali gai sammelan those in in midnapur yeah, in the way of kanthi there is a bali gai sammelan that he just want he, he on the pravachan he want to do on which topic that brahman and vaishnav that brahman is up or vaishnav is up on that uh, title actually he has to just uh, give the answer to those question and all those karm kandi people are just uh, speaking so for that prabhupad has to go there at that time bhakti no thakur was doing the aswast sik leela showing bhakti no thakur ji actually uh, is actually prabhupad actually taking lotus feet of bhakti no thakur on his head actually thakur you don't do sik leela now i am actually alone you have to come to with me how i alone i can do that nobody is there to do seva no so prabhupad just taking the lotus feet on his head and just crying and actually you want to go you want to go from this material world you are actually doing this sik leela but you please understand this point you have to stay there sometimes but after just speaking this you can see suddenly what happened then prabhupad actually just finishing the bali gai sammelan after that after some days bhakti no thakur become uh, good uh, chilan rotam das thakur also has done the leela of paralytic patient yes so this is all drama this is nothing this is all drama just to make us foolish this is uh, all the arrangement so all pure guru vaishnav they are not at all coming in this material world to enjoy this uh, fruitive activities the avir bhav of guru vaishnav and tiro bhav is there they don't have any birth in that Vaishnav don't have any birth and death. They don't have that bondage of karma, bandhan. Not at all. It is not at all possible. If was some uh, person is actually questioning that, uh, they only one thing only no. They are actually eating. They are also sleeping. They are also getting disease. We are. They are also that same thing. So there is no difference. So that's why there is one example regarding this. In the English Hari Katha also I have. Five to six weeks back, before I have told that a lot of people are there. They are just questioning this thing. That like Paman Goswami Maharaj has uh, just uh, told in the Hari Katha as well. Paman Goswami Maharaj speaking that normal persons actually have that uh, wrong conception. That Paman Goswami Maharaj speaking that uh, these things actually what they are speaking. Oh, he is doing lot of bhajan actually, but still he is why he is getting sick. Paman Goswami Maharaj actually give, giving answer to this. Actually, those people actually questioning he is doing so much bhajan from childhood he has done so much bhajan, and why they are actually getting sick? What is the reason behind? So like this actually they are speaking. Paman Goswami Maharaj actually speaking that actually with bhajan, with bhajan, uh, body has no connection with bhajan. Maybe it is it is there in very fine form it is there. Ram Goswami Maharaj, our subtle body has no relation because it is uh, bhajan is actually the dharma of atma. It is all the time going on, but externally you can see if some person is speaking that uh, Vaman Goswami Maharaj is sick, Tirth Goswami Maharaj is sick. He is actually just making 
it is the actual fruit of sinful activities which he has done that is actual fruit what he is getting he is getting he is doing a big abrat he is actually if he is speaking that it is the fruit of that sinful activity that will become a big uh, abrat for them won't speak like this so that's why i want to give one example that in alipur central jail there is a in alipur central jail there is one one jailer is there and inside the jail he is just uh, taking care of the all the prisoners different prisoners those who are frauders those, those who are in the jail in the prison cell they are already there in the prison cell they are imprisoned lot of prisoners are there and they are already imprisoned there and uh, externally if someone can see uh, that there is one uh, letter one person actually uh, got one got one letter one person just got one letter and this letter actually he got the letter and he just uh, and he just uh, he, he is from the he is the manager of that office and he in the man, in the room of that manager there is one friend actually he, uh, he was there and actually this letter actually this letter he has just written the letter he is actually writing the answer of that letter the manager that manager actually he is writing the answer of that letter and he is just giving that postcard at that and those times actually postcard is there now actually hello bolo from mobile is there but that time actually the letter just giving answer to that letter that friend is there in his room actually he was just speaking to his friend actually you do one thing where are you going actually i am going outside okay you do one thing you just take this postcard this letter uh, you just uh, give uh, just put it in the letter box just put this letter in that letter box okay okay no worries i will just do that he actually just take on that letter and uh, in his hand who actually have to give actually some friend is there is my brother is there actually it is written there and actually central jail to the central jail it is written there uh, that name of the person and the central jail who oh, your brother is in uh, in prison sir you, you are he is a in he is a in prison in prison person he is there he is in central jail he is in alipur central jail then he is just started laughing that person central jail actually the letter is going but my but my brother is not a prisoner he is the superintendent of the prisoner cell so externally it is actually uh, we are seeing that he is the superintendent that is super superintendent of the jail he is there in the alipur central jail he is actually staying there and those the prisoners those who are staying in that prison cell uh, they have the same uh, they have a same purpose no no just tell me because in the central jail those who are superintendent he is not at all a prisoner but still he is in the jail so where he will go he has his quarter there everything is there so it looks like one just by seeing it looks like one that they it is like one only but be careful about this point he is actually the superintendent of jail and all others are they are the prisoners so like guru vaishnav they are actually coming in this material world it is just like uh, uh, all those bonded jeevas are just like prison people and they are just giving treatment to these uh, bonded jeevas chilla vaman ko swami mara always used to speak alone day oh gurudev for how much time i have to stay here for how much i have to stay there with me so like this it is so in this uh, uh, prisoner cell what we are living it is just like a prisoner cell only where which we are living it is just like a jail only for us so just to live here in this jail if we are just thinking that it is equal that all guru vishnu was staying there in this prisoner cell it is not at all good so if they, we are just speaking comparing that thing that the all the persons of this material world and guru vishnu is same then what we can do 
So Bhakti Mata Thakur actually speaking that they are all Bhagavad Vaimukha. That for those Bhagavad Vaimukha, those who are uh, removed from Bhakti, so for those people, this is just like a prisoner cell. This prisoner cell actually is being made by Maya. So all those bonded jivas, if we are not do, if we are they are doing anugatya of Guru Vaishnav, they are doing sadhan bhajan, then that sadhan, the definitely that sadhan will get increment, and we will get kripa of Guru Vaishnav. After that, definitely that bondage of Maya will get cut automatically. But it is actually written in Chaitanya Jitamrit. It is written there in Chaitanya Jitamrit. But still, by Anadi Bahimukha, there is no calculation from which time. But still, this bondage of Maya can get cut by Bhajan. By bhajan, it is possible to cut the bondage of Maya. This bondage of Maya definitely can cut. It is actually from infinity period. But still to cut this, it is not a big thing. It is not a big thing. Why? Because this anath, this, this is anath. I have already told it a lot of times. Lot of time I have told about this point. Those who are from Bhagavad Bahimuk, Jeevas, those who are away from, they who are always in Maya, they are all Maya but And those who are uh, <coughs> under guidance of Guru Vaishnav, they are all Mukta. These from Maya. Paddhaji, actually, just by doing sadhan, just by the clip of Bhagavan, definitely they will cut the material bondage of Maya and get out of there. But, but to cut, to cut the material bondage is not a big thing. It's not a, such, such a big issue. After that, what is our target? That is the main thing. That is the topmost thing. I have already told it previously, yesterday as well. So, so in this material world, in this, uh, okay, when the foreign country don't think, Nowadays, I am just talking about the Bharat Vash in India. So, in this Bharat Khami, this this is actually Karma Khetra. This is the field of Karma. In this Bharat Bhumi, India is actually the field of Karma. Why it is called field of Karma? Yes, so foreign country is not field of Karma? No, no, no. Only India is the field of Karma. Why? The answer regarding this is that the Bharat Bhumi is actually is, uh, is pratishtit on the vichara of Vedas, is actually dependent on the Vedas, vichara of Vedas. Those who are actually originally Indians, maybe they just become hybrid just by coming from outside. I am not talking about them. There are a lot of Christian lady, they are just uh, marrying Christian lady also. Muslim lady actually is getting married. I am actually not speaking about them. I don't have want to speak like, to speak uh, about them. I just want to speak that in this India is a land of spiritual cultivation. Why? Because this Ved Vrittik, it is Ved Vrittik. Ved Vrittik Samaj, it is actually controlled by the Vedas and Shastras. It is a Parmeshetra. Why? Because in the Vedas, whatever is written in the Vedas, whatever is written in the Vedas, that is the actual karma. So, just to do that, if there is no one there in the foreign country, all they are in the India only. So that's why what is there in the Vedas written there in the Shastras, whatever the instructions written in the Vedas, we just need to follow that. Those who are actually following this karma, that is called actually karma. If we are just doing in reverse, negative, then nothing will done. And if we will not do, then it will become a karma. And if we will do negative way, that will come bigger on all the four directions in this whole material world in this whole material world whole earth on this in the whole world all the all the time this actually this uh, against uh, shastrik vani they are not at all following 
we will definitely tell tell you about tomorrow about what Krishna is coming up to so we telling that those who who are there who can do Krishna bhajan just give me that that which are There is a lot of vichar, Krishna Swagraj Goswami speaking. So, who are there who want to do Krishna Bhajan and Harinam? You, are, you will be finding me in the market. No, it is not at all possible to find those who are doing actual Harinam. Just show me. So, these Ved Shastra, the instructions of the Vedas, what we are following, those who are actually following, those that definitely will be finding in India only. Previously, every person was there, like Jarasand also, that Asur was there, Jarasand. He, they were also following the instructions of the Vedas, the instructions of Vedas they are following. But the inner meaning of Vedas, they are not at all understanding. These persons like Jarasand, Shishupal, Kansha, they are actually not understanding the instructions, inner meaning of Vedas. They are actually Rakshas, Asur. But still, they can't understand the inner meaning of Vedas. But the, they are they follow the instructions of Vedas externally. Our Guru Maharaj, uh, Guru Var, Maharaj uses speak. Devils can also go and speak scriptures. And Asur, a demon, can also uh, can also speak uh, the instructions of Shastras. What to do now? So these kind of uh, things, these actually Asuras also. Uh, the actual external instructions of Vedas they are following but the internal meaning, inner meaning of the Vedas they are not at all understanding is the Suras so that's why Bhagavan actually speaking that the actual uh, final conclusion of the uh, Vedas just to understand that even the demigod and the Rishi Muni will also become mad just by thinking this. So how they can understand this which are? They can't understand that. How they can understand? Tell me. So the Vedas, whatever the external uh, external instructions of the Vedas and they can't understand the inner meaning also of the Vedas. If they can understand that, then it is all one mal month. Why this Purushottam month? How they have just thrown this Purushottam month? So the thinking of each and every person is not the same. They don't have the same thinking. So what you can do? Okay, no worries. But the way the instructions of Veda, according to that, this uh, Indian land of India, the Acharya or uh, the Adarshana Acharan of the Vedas, and uh, they have to go and uh, apart. And the foreign country is not a karma bhumi, land of karma. That is called Kaam Bhumi. <laughs> Land of India. That is Kaam Bhumi. In India also this is uh, happening now. Nobody can stop now. So, I have already told a lot of time that in Rai Ram and Sambhad when we were discussing that and Upadesh Amrit also, I am just also speaking that you see the karma, jnana and bhakti, there are three pathways. I have already told that a lot of times. That karma, jnana and bhakti and varnashram dharma, yagya, tapasya, the donation, vratta, all these things is karmanga, is limbs of karma. It is already written in the shastras. It is already written in the Shastra, different kind of things. People actually are there in confusion. They can't understand this point. They are actually speaking, it is written in Veda actually, Maharaj. Okay, it is written, but Bhagavan actually speaking that Vedas, the inner meaning of the Vedas, the external person, wanted Jiva cannot understand. He will just go in the negative direction. It is actually written in Veda, Maharaj. Mahaprabhu actually has just shown us that when he was discussing with Kazi, but they can't understand that. So a lot of things are written there, Bhagwan has just told. 
that vedas that the final instruction of the vedas what is the final goal of the vedas it is just to show the my lotus feet that krishna speaking and also speaking that i am vedakrit that i have uh, just uh, uh, discovered vedas i i have just uh, rachaya means it is eternally present i have just uh, you know i am I, i am the only one who can understand vedas that's what is written in bhagavad mahapurana quran also ved and ishwar are not different from each other they are not at all uh, different that's why about the vedas about bhagwan when we are just thinking of that confusion is quite natural there definitely i will just be speaking tomorrow about this uh, which are how actually we are going on the negative direction how we are actually going on that negative direction so according to the varnashram that i have already told it is the basic foundation of of, of the ved based society there is no other way apart from that uh, apart from varnashram tam so every person who is actually just uh, following varnashram tam and uh, yes following uh, the instruction of bhagwan it is good if it is no he is not doing then he will become dog so varnashram tam yagya tapasya donation all everything is there this uh, limb of karma it's already written there yagya you should do Oh, actually i don't have any child uh, i need child maharaj i need child what to do so without child where i'll go so this thing i have already told that uh, previously i told that about chitra ketu maharaj wow he was crying so much crying in front oh my child in front and atmadev also i have given lot of example atmadev also cried a lot and that uh, in front of one sanyasi actually he is actually speaking from the last seven birth seven seven consecutive birth consecutive birth for seven consecutive birth you will not be getting any child you will not be getting any child actually maharaj i need one son you need you definitely have to be otherwise i will so psychic i will i will be doing suicide i will just going into this uh, river so this kind of bhav is there so chitrakutu maharaj also he was actually very, very much uh, unhappy and naraji maharaj actually speaking naraji maharaj actually he just came back angiraj rishi he just came with them and why you were actually unhappy actually i don't have any child chitrakutu maharaj speaking then you don't have any child okay there is no child in your uh, luck destiny actually i am just taking your lotus feet you just i need a child after that what happened that angiraj rishi has but done putreshti yagya so that which is actually be getting one child from the from the reach of the vedas he has just uh, done that yagya and he is just uh, giving fire in all the four directions and he is giving on parmana and uh, everything he is giving offering to that and after that he is giving that uh, parmana to the king and he is speaking that this parmana actually you just give it to your you to your wife that topmost wife what you like and uh, then you will be get a child definitely like uh, b- b- this whole world is uh, full of karma and without karma they can't think of anything else whole world is karma full of lust Ma- whether positive lust whether negative lust positive lust is always there in guru vishnu that always have to kiss bhagwan always have to take the devotees in that that is actually negative lust for all those material people so this actually in the vedas all the rules and regulations in the vedas actually they have some uh, 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 some result if you don't have child you will give child if you don't have money you will get money so everything is there in the vedas so whatever is written in the vedas 
each and every limb of the car what will be the actual fruit you will get you what what you will do like that you will go you will get that you will do like you will do that so every person is just get entangled in all this all the persons actually are just getting entangled in this only no one actually don't want to listen anything apart from this oh maharaj actually just stop i just don't want to hear so they are actually all going into this so lot of problems are there and because of the poor sukriti give sukriti the jeev very if you with a very with very difficulty that jeev is doing all donation everything all this bonded soul he just want to go to heaven what he will actually do by going to heaven he because there is lot of enjoyment there my father actually has just gone to heaven i have given lot of donation what you will do by doing going to heaven because even from brahma to ant from brahma to down to ant everyone will get destroyed they are all destructible from up brahma to down ant everyone is destructible but they want that thing only matter only the guru dev always used to speak maharaj actually is speak that when their punya is getting destroyed definitely they have to come back to this material world again that brahmanishta also he has got but still he without uh, getting his own karampal he has to definitely get that uh, but harinam has so much glorification uh, that prabhav that those that ajamil who is actually so nice brahman has done so much archan puja of shalagram and he has done uh, the service of uh, gurujan as well but after that when he just got into fallen condition i have already told you then his moral strength is not extended up to that point and he just got into the fallen condition and uh, there is one person who just came someone came to help him nobody was there only pure guru vishnu they have that uh, they have that uh, scheme that the last child uh, he has begetting he is begetting his name was narayan so there is not in depth uh, vichar in this in depth discussion is this yeah i am just talking about that uh, prasang of that prostitute that to that uddhav uddhav ji maharaj he is speaking krishna that um, some person is coming in and coming out and he is actually getting that anxiety inside his heart then after that what happens that inside his heart suddenly there is he has got that bhava inside it oh what i have done my whole life oh that pingala vaishya pingala prostitute that my whole life i have just destroyed my life i have just taken it to a destruction and after that uh, by that param purush bhagwan shri krishna i will just uh, love him only apart from that i will not love anyone what what happened when that ajgar tapasvi that tatatre just came there and has just uh, came in front of his house and uh, he has come outside the veranda of the house of that pingala vishya and it is written in vishnu purana somewhere that about this ajamil also it is written that ajamil was not there that sambhava that her wife actually and there some uh, sadhu guru vishnu just came in the veranda and after that they are seeing that and after that you do something what uh, your son will be there will be getting one that son Uh, the son's name will be narayan so that he that foolish ajamil can get delivered so this narayan this one narayan she has done so much things ajamil but still he just got into fallen condition you just see that he has done so much thing so much puja archan everything he has done he has done service of his guru but nothing no one can say but that ajamil 
I will definitely speak tomorrow. That at that last time also, Bhagwan actually, even Bhagwan also, uh, Bhagwan also he is not calling. He was doing Nama Bhas. Narayan actually is just uh, speaking. That is Nama Bhas. He just got booked by doing Nama Bhas. I will definitely speak it tomorrow. So nice vichar is there. So Nama Bhas actually has mukti. So whatever the pasya and whatever you will do, then nothing will be done. And this by this Nama Bhas, everything will be done. Everything will be done by Nama Bhas. So Nama Bhas will do everything. Like Haridas Thakurji, in the case of Haridas Thakur, in the Saptagram, there is a, there was one Kopal Chakravarti, one Brahman. One Brahman was there and he is actually uh, thinking himself that he is very topmost. And he was just uh, speaking with Haridas Thakur, questioning in front of him. He is actually, Haridas Thakur just glorifying Nam. Actually, he was not understanding and he was in reverse just uh, speaking foul words to uh, Haridas Thakur and speaking that actually is emotional what he is speaking that uh, all this Vrat stuff and uh, nothing will done. Well, Namabhas will do. Huh? Not at all possible. So he is speaking like this. He is actually speaking. So in that whole Sabha, oh, actually everyone speaking, oh, what he has spoken. In the whole Sabha, actually, this uh, discussion was going on and in the Sabha, oh, what you have done? You have done so big a prana to lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. Oh, Ram, Ram, Ram. Oh, my God, you should not have done that. What we'll do? And in two days, he is just Kalikur. That leprosy is got. He just got a very severe leprosy because he had challenged Haridas Thakur. He is told that if you cannot uh, give the proof, then definitely you have to cut your nose. Otherwise, I will cut my nose. Okay, okay. No worries. Then Harida with Harida Stakur, he was just uh, questioning him, arguing with him. And what is the result? What he got? He will get severe leprosy. And everyone just thrown him out of this, this material world. I will definitely speak. A lot of things are there. Well, Mahaprabhu actually speaking to Haridas Thakur about the important topics. This Harinam Chintamani, in order to understand this, we just have to understand, uh, just discuss it to a very vast area. Uh, just by speaking Harinam Chintamani, it will not be done like that. So, Harinam is the topmost. So, though that Ajamil, the who, that Tapasya, Brat, Guruja, and nothing can be done in his case. That Ajamil actually just by Nama Bhas, he just got Mukti. He got, no? So how it is possible? How it is possible? For infinity period, whatever if sinful activities are getting only by Nama Bhas can immediately get destroyed immediately get destroyed by Nama Bhas. So, this is the power of the glorification of the name of Bhagwan. You can't even understand that. You can't even imagine that. So, that's why you just need to understand Harinam Chintamani. That in-depth analysis we will do. Just speak that. Just hear that. Your whole life will definitely get reversed. Definitely there will be one uh, sudden uh, certain uh, point will in your life that oh it is like this this Harinam Chintamani so nice so Bhakti Thakur actually speaking why this whole uh, Kal Chakra uh, infinity Brahmand uh, who, what is not destructible everything is destructible destroyable and Bhakti Thakur speaking that oh Sachan just be careful about this point that for uh, infinity infinity Brahman there is anything which is not, uh, which is out of this Maya, which is out of this Kal Chakra, and which is not destructible. Everything is destructible. So this actually, Dan, Dakshina, whatever you are doing, Brat, donation, whatever you do, this Karmanga, by this, what you will get the fruit out of that, you tell me. Hmm? 
so all these uh, kriya karam that is the uh, material bondage it is far distant you can't cut at all what will happen timno taku actually speaking that this is actually cannot this to cut this material lust and kamana vasna we just want to cut that kamana vasna from our heart that is actually useless bhakti no thakur speaking in this we will that kamana vasna inside us that will increase rapidly it is it will not go away it will definitely increase in harida or actually all those uh, state all those rich men of delhi those who are doing black money business they are actually taking bath in ganga and after that doing one week work and again they are coming off to going to ganga for 15 days because they have that they have that material lust inside their heart and we have to just throw that material lust from the roots we have to destroy that from the root cause and all everything we have to cut definitely the main thing we have to just cut it from the roots we have to just uh, uh, cut it from the root and if we haven't uh, uprooted from the root like that in a field i'll just give you one example i have already seen in vrindavan this by the krip of krishna and gurudev all those brajwasi this barley they just used to uh, they have just grown that and after that everything when they cut that barley and everything what they are doing they are actually just uh, grown barley there and after then how they have cut that what they have done they have done they have just cut that and after cutting they have just uh, have to take the other uh, crop they have to grow i was actually just living in suryakund and govardhan and in gokuldam i have seen every every time in parikrama mar what they used to do that this rice that paddy they after cutting that they used to they just do to uh, fire up the whole field because it's very hot there and it has become dry so they have just uh, fired it up everything and from the root everything become black and black and they have just taken the tractor and after that they have just uh, done the other uh, crop to field there so they are just doing the tractor work and everything there again so you see this this kind of instruction i am getting from this material world so if i am not get uprooted from that not get fired up then a second field uh, cropping the field is not at all possible so that will be different i will definitely discuss it tomorrow that how we have to uproot it from the root and just by doing harinam just on to the lotus feet of krishna we have to go i will be just discussing it i have that uh, uh, desire to just discuss this i am actually just uh, uh, just uh, giving rest to this uh, fallen vichar of mine 